workout number one. This is a total body workout and we're using 60 second intervals. Starting off with a little cardio and legs. This is called a pop squat. Feet together, pop out to a squat, come back together, 60 seconds. Get as low as you can and move quickly to keep the heart rate up. Option to step out, together, out, together to keep it a little less high impact, easier on the joints. Next up, it's a sumo squat with an upright row. I can only find one dumbbell right now, so I'm gonna use my kettlebell. For the position, feet are wide, wider than shoulders, turn the toes out a lot. As you squat down, open the knees towards the toes, go as low as you can, so you feel that stretch of the inner thighs, drive through the heels to stand, upright row. Sumo squat, upright row. I'm gonna turn to the side so you can see this. So this is what you want it to look like. Squat straight down, pull right up. This is what you do not want it to look like. Butt back, chest down, butt back, chest down. You wanna keep the spine long like you're sliding down a wall behind you. So 60 seconds of that. Next up is a plank with a knee to elbow and a push up. So come to your plank, push up position, crunch knee to elbow, Knee to elbow, push up. Knee to elbow, knee to elbow, push up. And of course, modify with the knees as needed. Um, after that, we're gonna stay on the ground and do a Superman lift, working all the muscles that run along the back. It's called your posterior chain. So extend your legs long, arms out in front of you, lift everything off the ground, and gently lower. Lift, lower, lift lower. If you have any lower back issues, you can take one part of that equation away. You could just lift the upper body or just lift the lower body. Next up is a wall sit with a bicep curl. So again, I'm just going to pretend that I have weight since I can't find my other one. Come up against a wall, get a 90 degree bend at the knees and at the hips. Have your palms to face forward, one weight in each hand, and just curl. Squeeze the biceps, control the weights on the way down. Make sure your knees stay in line with the hips. Don't let them come together or go far apart. Good work. And then we are at our narrow push-up. So when we come to a narrow push-up, we're going to work the back of the arm or the tricep. Those of you that practice yoga or are familiar with yoga, this is your chaturanga push-up. I will demonstrate on my knees. Hands on your shoulders. Core braced, spine long, navel in, lower down, and then push right back up. So you wanna go about to your shoulders, meet your elbows, drive through finger pads and knuckles to press up. And remember, these are challenging. It's hard to push your body weight off the ground. So if you need to pause, go ahead and pause, but don't stop, right? Let that be your motto. Pause, but don't stop. Um, and then finally, reverse lunges, just like we did in warm up, but without the twist. And I like to teach reverse lunges because that way um, there's less pressure going on in the knee. The weight doesn't go forward, it goes back. So just alternate. You can hold your hand weights here if you'd like for a little extra work. Just lunge back, together, and back, together. Back, together, back, and together. So there we're gonna go through that three or four times. You can rest a minute between each round, but remember to keep the intensity up, keep the rest to a minimum, and work your hardest. Have a great workout.